Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we create and use a name array in Microsoft Excel. So first of all, we are going to understand that what is a name array. A name array, as the uh, name suggests, it is a collection of data that has a particular name. Suppose here we have a table and this table has no particular name. Its only identity is that it is present from uh, the cell number D6 up till the cell number G12. So if we want to access this whole table, we are going to type a data range that is D6 up to uh, G12 that is D6 colon G12. So that is how we can access this table. But this method is prone to errors and everyone cannot use it very efficiently. So what do we have is a method through which we can give a particular name to this table and using that name we can access this table to any place that we want. Now there are multiple ways through which we can give names to these tables and uh, these ways are uh, very effective but each one of the ways has its own advantage. So let's see that how can we give names to a table. Suppose this is this whole table and in this whole table we have this column uh, called names. Now to this names column I want to give a particular name. So what I'm going to do is just select all these names from Sam till Chris like this. Then here is the name box. Then I'm going to just type a particular name for it. So here I'm going to type name like this and press enter. So whenever I want to access this name, then what I will do is just provide it with a collection that is name. Suppose I want to count how many uh, names are present or how many records are present over here. Then what I can do is provide it with a function. So I have uh, moved my cursor to the cell L6. Then put an equal sign and provide with a count A function. Now this count A function, what does it does is it counts the uh, number of the records that are present in the textual format. The count function only records for the numerical formats but if you want to record it in um, the form of the text then you got to use this count a function so I've used this count a then I'm going to provide it with name so I'm going to type n a m e name and as soon as I typed this n a m e name then you can see that this whole box has turned into blue which means this whole is the selection then I'm going to just close my parenthesis and as an as I press enter, then you can see that uh, 6 is what I have got. And it is the actual answer because these are 6 names present over here. Now this is one way where you can just use a name box and uh, create names for yourself. Now um, there is other way as well uh, through which you can uh, provide it with um, the names and that is present in the formulas tab. So you gotta just go to your formulas tab and now you gotta uh, find a group known as defined names. Now how can you um, provide names to your tables using these defined names? First of all you gotta make sure uh, that using this option you can provide names for multiple columns as well. Now in our previous example what we had done is just created some of the data and using that data I had selected this data and using that data I had used it as a collection. Now what if I want to create these different collections. So I have these three columns which have not been given a name just now. These are days, cost and total. Now these three columns can be grouped into names like this data. All this data can be grouped into days, all this uh, data can be grouped into cost and all this data can be grouped into total in one go. So how can we do that? You got to select all of this data. Then in the define names group, there is an option of create from selection. You can just click on it. 
so there is an option where it asks that create names from values in the that means that uh, it will create the names for you but from where it have to take the values of the names so these names values are days cost and total and these are present in the top row so that is why uh, you got to select this top row option you got to check this and click on ok now as soon as you do that you will um, see that uh, these three names have already been created how can you just uh, check them in the define names group only there is use and formula option so if you just click on it you can see that cost days name and total are the four names that are present now and um, we had already created name using this name box option and these three have already been created using this create in selection option that we just used now if you want to use them how can you use it uh, suppose you are in some cell like j7 then you can use any formula if i want to count the total number of days then how can i do that i can just pu uh, put an equal sign right in the function sum open the parenthesis now since i know that uh, there is already a group by the name of days that is present that holds all this data whose sum i want to find so i'm going to provide it with a name as days and as soon as i type it you can see that this selection is made then i'm just going to close the parenthesis and press enter so i've got the sum as 85 now you can just check it uh, by uh, coming here and using this auto sum option Okay, so as I use this auto sum option, uh, 85 is what I have got as an answer. So that means this answer is correct. Now, if you want to use any of the functions, then you can use it simply by using the names. Another advantage of giving names is, suppose you have multiple sheets open. I have opened some sheets like this. I have seven sheets now in total and I'm working on my seventh sheet, then I want to fetch some data from the sheet one. Uh, that is, I want to access that how much was the total cost. Uh, this cost total I want to fetch. So how can I do that? I can just uh, be in my sheet seven. Then I just press uh, equal sign, write the formula sum, open the parenthesis then without going to that particular sheet and selecting the range over there I can just type in the name of the name array that I had created that was cost and I can just close the parenthesis and press enter so 23.6 is what I have got and if you want you can just cross it check it using this um, auto sum option which is 23.6 so that is another advantage of uh, using a name array that is using the name array you can be in any sheet at any place and from there only you can access the name array that has already been created apart from that if you want you can use it in the different formulas and without uh, having to select the cell ranges now if you want to see its purpose uh, then you can just see it like you can find in the minimum value so min out of all these total so if you can just see over here if you select all this by dragging also then its name array is stored over here that is total instead of the range you can just put a uh, close the parenthesis and press enter then it's 15.6 is the minimum value you can just cross check it yes it's right if you want to find the max similarly you can again um, provide it with total so when you are typing it you can see that this total is present over here with this sign which shows that it is a name array you can press a tab and close the parenthesis then press enter then 136.4 is what we have got as the value and yes that is the maximum value and um, that is how uh, you can use the names in the different functions apart from that if you go to this formulas tab then um, if you want 
uh, for the sum formula suppose we write the sum formula and here as soon as you write a formula this use in formula options becomes active w then you can select that what you want to use in the sum formula suppose i want to use that um, uh, this cost so i can just click on this cost and from here also i can just select this whole data and close the parenthesis and press enter so all this cost would be selected so that is how uh, you can create the name array in microsoft excel and apart from that you have also learned that how can you use them what is its various advantages so that is all in today's video thanks for watching goodbye